Hello, Muddy Acorns. Great to see you guys. Are you getting excited for National Aviation Day this week? FDR declared August 19th Aviation Day in honor of Orville Wright's birthday. It also happens to be my brother David's birthday. Happy birthday, D. This is should I be vegetarian, flexitarian, pescatarian, omnivore? It's confusing and overwhelming. Here's my take. If you are choosing not to eat meat because there's some ethical or religious reason, no problem, don't eat meat. If you're choosing to shy away from meat because of the health reasons, you need to think about quality over quantity. What that means is that it's not what you eat, it's what you eat ate. A healthy animal produces healthy meat and that can be part of a healthy diet. So let's take a cow for example. A cow is built to eat grass. So a grass-fed cow gives nice, lean meat that has healthy fats in it and also then a nice variety of vitamins and minerals and things that your body needs to function effectively. A conventional cow that's force-fed grain so that it can get to slaughter weight faster is now on an unnatural diet. And so one, the meat is fattier, but two, that animal tends to get sick and then they have to give it antibiotics to keep it healthy. And in doing that, all that is making its way into the meat, which makes it in, into you, which is unhealthy. So eat meat, but eat good quality, grass fed, wild caught fish, pasture raised animals. Second, you need to think about variety. If you're eating the same types of meat, chicken breast, hamburger, pork chop, what's happening there is you're eating healthy food, but you're getting the same nutritional profile. You need some variety. The different vitamins and minerals that you're gonna get out of bison or lamb are not the same that you're gonna get from salmon and tuna. So mix it up. Also explore different organ meats. Things like chopped liver are gonna have a whole different nutritional profile than a beef shank. All right, take a, take a chance, explore the meats. This week, I want you to work on a different movement for your shoulders, working on some of our mobility in there. It's also working on the strength. So coming out here, basic arm circles. Think of taking paint brushes in your hand and painting circles on the wall. Paint both directions, as well as making bigger and bigger circles. Opening up, making it wider. You'll feel it working all the muscles here in your deltoid, in the shoulder. What we also want to work on there is as we make these bigger, think about working the mobility and find out where your range of motion is so that you can improve it. Ideally, you want to be able to take it straight out up, back, and down, working both directions. Straight up, straight back, straight down, forward, and back. Imagine if there was a clock here, you'd be working from 12 all the way straight back down to six, back up to 12, working it all the way back around in that full circle. All right, so celebrate Aviation Day, or if you're in NYC, New Jersey, go visit my brother Dave, celebrate his birthday. Get outdoors. Find some good, healthy meat to eat. Work those arm circles. If you have questions, write in. You know I love hearing from you. Learn to live healthy.